All right, so I'm back again. This video, I'll be talking about a YouTube video that I watched a couple of weeks ago. It was basically a story time and Me Too experience. This is a brief synopsis of the video. The young woman in the video talks about how she used to work at this warehouse and how she was physically violated by a fellow male co-worker and she filed a complaint with the management and in her opinion the management didn't do enough to correct the situation. She felt as though they should have fired the man who physically violated her but instead what they did was move them around so that they wouldn't have to interact with one another. So she ended up leaving her job without notice even though she had no money and bills piled up and she was a poor working college student. I think she did the right thing in her situation. I applaud her first and foremost for calling him out and reporting the harassment so that at least it would be documented and it would probably maybe deter him from doing it to someone else. But then in the same breath, the fact that they didn't terminate may have possibly emboldened him to to escalate his behavior and maybe even attempt to rape her as she decided to continue working there. But that's just speculation. If I were in that situation, who knows? Maybe I would have did the same thing. It's hard to say because I've never been in a position where I felt in fear of my safety on a job. So I can't say I have been known to walk off of jobs where I wasn't happy. I've never felt the need to walk off of a job because of due to sexual harassment. I have walked off of jobs because maybe the manager was an asshole or HR may have sided with the management instead of being objective and trying to see things from my point of view. Or I may have just walked off of a job because I didn't like their system. Maybe the system was disorganized and wasn't my cup of tea. And being that it was one of those shit wage, dead end, penny ante type of jobs, that would have made it all the more easier for me to walk off that job if, had I been in that type of situation. In the situation that I was talking about in a couple of other videos before, where I was being harassed by this dude named William, I couldn't even entertain the thought of walking off of that job because that wasn't what I would consider a dead-end job. That was more of a career type of position that I actually had went to school for and received training for. And I was making a, a fairly decent wage, $25 plus dollars an hour, so I would not ever entertain the thought of walking off of a job like that. Up and quitting a good paying job would be pretty rash Unless, of course, I felt like my safety was in jeopardy. So, who knows, if maybe if I was in a similar situation as the young lady in this YouTube video, I probably would have done the same thing. But, at any rate, I applaud her for standing up for herself and doing the right thing. And doing what she believed was best for her situation. And I'll leave the link in the description box below. Thank you.